Hi guys, so the new Flux Cray Crea launched, and these are a few examples that I've done, and it looks amazing. So now let's go to Comfy and see. So this is the workflow as you can see. So we need RTX 4090 for this because this is not the FP8 version. The FP8 version will release later on. So let me show you guys the result as you can see. So this is the prompt. Highly realistic portrait of a Nordic woman with blonde hair and blue eyes and few freckles. So as you can see, I'm doing 1024x1024 1024 height and width and EULR simple and 20 steps for this photo. So the clips are both the same as flux dev or context and the VAE is also the same. So the GGFU version and everything will come out later on. So let me just save this photo. So this example weight D type was FP8 fast. Now I've done default and this is the image that I got. So if you want to compare, I'll do a side by side comparison as well. One. So you can see which one is better, the default one or FP8 fast. So obviously the default one is a little bit better in my opinion. As you can see, the left one looks a little more realistic than the right one. So let's try a few more examples and check the new model out. So I'll go go to ChatGPT and ask a few prompts. So as you can see, ChatGPT has given me some prompts. So I've pasted over here and this is the photo that I got. It's pretty good looks a bit realistic, but we need to upscale this. So I'll add an upscaler in this workflow as well. So let's add Ultimate HD Upscaler. I think this is the best upscaler that ComfyU has, so that's why I'm using this one. So let's connect all the nodes together, X, so the model goes to the model. So if you want, I'll give the workflow in my Patreon page, which is absolutely free. You can download that, and if you want, you can become a member as well. Free one or even paid one. Paid one will give me benefit. That's it. If you don't want to, then you can use a free one. Okay, so we are connected. Now we'll connect the load up scale model and use, what, where is it? We'll use, well, we'll do preview image. Oh yeah, I forgot the VAE, then I connected it again. So as you can see, this is the image that we got, uh, the, the normal one, and this is the upscale one. And here I've compared. So as you can see, these both are comparing and the upscale one looks pretty good but this model still has the hand issues. As you can see, the Flux always have the hand issues. It makes hand really weird. I don't know why, but a lower can fix it. We have to see if the previous dev version Flux does work or people will make LoRa for this as well. So this is upscaled by two. Now we'll check out upscale four and see if it's better or not but I like two times the upscale, not four, because in four times it messes up some things. So as you can see, this is the 4X upscale. The prompt is same, but obviously the image has changed. So I'll just zoom in and you can see. So this is the 4X and this is the normal. <laughs> so it looks pretty good. Yeah, but there are a few things that I don't <laughs> like, so that's why I'll just put it on 2x. Two. So let's try another prompt that I just generated from chat diet. And this is the prompt. And I'm using the RTX 4 to 90 in this. And it takes around 1 to 2 minutes without the upscale version. With upscale, it would take a little bit time. So as you can see, this is the photo that we got looks pretty, pretty good. It looks realistic, more realistic than the normal Flux Devi version. Okay, now let's try a few other samplers. So let's...
Let's take DPM to SDE and change this to SG Uniform OIO and run it. Okay, so it will take. around one minute as you can see so it's done it took under a minute in rtx 1490 so this is the image that we got looks pretty good and this is the upscale version let's compare it so as you can see looks pretty good so this is i think this is better than the normal flux in comparison to realistic photos So, as you can see, this is the Comfy UI site, and this is Crea and everything else written over here. Features, natural detail, exceptional realism, full compatibility architecture, and over here, the manual installation. So, as you can see, all the clip loaders are the same. The VAE is the same. And this is the workflow right over here. Okay. And let's go to over here, Crea Flux Dev. So you have to download this file over here, 23 GB, or you can wait for the FP8 version or the GGUF files. So as you can see, this is the 12 billion prayer parameter version. And this is all the code and everything else, details of Flux Crea right over here. So where do you put it? You put go to Comfy UI, then go to over here, then go to models, then go to where is it? Where is it? Diffusion model. So put the file over here. So guys, let's end this video right over here. If you like this video, then please do and comment and subscribe on my channel. Thank you guys for watching.